and what the drivers say they fear most of all is a head-on collision with a blind tube mare. Personally, I think the management should round them up. Get rid of them. Okay, what's up, YouTube? Hello. Um, so, Ted Chippington. Now, there's a name I don't hear very often. Um, so, uh, I've done quite a lot of reaction videos to old old comedians i don't mean comedians over 90 uh, i mean comedians from 1970s 1980s uh, and that's very interesting uh, it's some of them don't seem that funny anymore some of them i didn't think were that funny at the time but it's quite interesting to look at what's permissible now as opposed to what was permissible then and how tastes have changed and uh that dreaded, those dreaded words, political correctness, that I almost feel myself saying in every single video. I'm getting really bored of it. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing that. My phone's ringing uh, and that's annoying. I don't know who it is, so I'm going to ignore them. Um, Ted Chippington, very funny. I won't say too much beforehand, uh, except to say that Stuart Lee was uh, very much inspired by this guy. In fact, there's a whole little documentary about it on... Uh, you can get on YouTube um, where he's talking about Ted and he meets Ted. Uh, but uh, this is a very short clip of the fabulous Ted Chippington. Please enjoy. Hello again. How do you do, mate? All right. Thank you. Anyway, I'll tell you a joke. You're coming in down here tonight for some top entertainment. Well, here's a top entertainment joke. Walking down this road the other day, this uh, bloke comes up to me. So I've just got back from Nam. I said, what do you mean, mate? Vietnam? He said, no, Cheltenham. <laughs> he had a good time there, he did. Spent the weekend he did there. He had a good time. Anyway, Bob Monkhouse, there's a man, eh? He's a good bloke, Bob. I've learnt this one off him. I've make a joke out of anything I can. Anyone got a topic they want to hear a joke about? You what? Shoes? Okay. I was walking down the road the other day, had my shoes on, this bloke comes up to me, he said, uh, ta -ta for the railway station's away from here, mate. I said, uh, one mile. He said, one mile? I said, ah, one mile, roughly speaking. Couldn't be too sure, you know. You didn't find that funny then? Well, I do. Thank you. Got a good haircut you have, mate. Anyway, I had, had my haircut the other day, walked down the barber shop, said to the bloke, cut me hair around the back, mate. He said, well, what's wrong with this room? Anyway, I'm walking down this road the other day, mate of mine comes up to me, he said, long time no see, Ted. I said, oh, I haven't been on holiday for a long time. Okay, there he is. Uh, there's not a lot of him uh, uh, on, on uh, video, uh, which is a shame. Uh, so the story of Ted is that he wasn't a comedian at all. He was just brought on to uh, introduce bands at gigs. And of course, fans at gigs who are seeing bands at gigs uh, aren't very interesting comedians um, and he wasn't a comedian uh, but he decided just to do really crap jokes uh, which really went down badly and it's just his delivery the fact that he, he's not phased by it he doesn't care uh, nobody laughs um, a few people laughed actually amazingly towards the end uh, and uh, what a guy uh, he's brilliant uh, check out if you can find more stuff uh, that he's done he's excellent thank you very much and um see you next time and in a statement issued just 10 minutes ago the home secretary announced that he personally will be going into the tunnels this weekend armed with a special gun